Anyone in the comments know what the cool bonus is? I still don't understand what it is. Is it like not getting hit, maybe? Or how many you got times you got hit? No, Toad, you went down. There's candles in the background. That means someone's here. Because candles normally don't, don't stay lit, lit up forever. The music in Act 2 is probably one of the Sonic fans' favorites. Because from Act 1, you know, serene and, and calm. Suddenly we got a very pump up mu music for Act 2. That makes you wanna go fast. <laughs> oh. Oh. It tricks me. It tricks me into thinking nice things. Another old one. I want to play one of the new stages because this one from Sonic 3 and Knuckles. That's why I keep going into this. I want to chop something a little more different. Only for the people that never haven't played Mania. But I have played Sonic 3 and Knuckles. Take me with you, Tails. I don't want to be in this game anymore. I keep debating whether I'm gonna buy Sonic Forces or not. It's only forty dollars, but but it's it's Sonic by Sonic Team. I haven't trusted Sonic Team in for in a long time. After the fiasco that was the DRM for Sonic Mania, they're gonna add it to Sonic Forces 2. Even though, technically, it doesn't seem to be a... Oof. Okay. Like I promised, I'm gonna show off one secret ring that some people probably miss. As you can see, that's a very easy one to miss since you're going so fast. <laughs> and I'm gonna use for Sonic for a bit. Because this level, one of the things that I don't like about it, uh, even from the original, is that it's a little automated. It, you got all these hands that take, make you take off, all these loop the loop, all these ramps. And it's very very nice, very accelerated, but um, one other ring up there. Ah, uh, this day is the one to get. There's this power up. Ah, I cannot get back down. There was that power up with the rings I that I never use. Oops. Let's go back. I think. It's easy to go back up ramps with Super Sonic. There we go. Eh, uh, well, we we'll take Super Sonic. Why not? It's not like uh, the boss in this act is gonna be easier with Super Sonic. Pretty much the same. Wait. Okay. They look so familiar. Boink. Oh, I wanna. Ah. Ready. Set. Go. Carry me, Tails. Wouldn't it be cool if Toast could be Super Toast too while you have Super Sonic? Hmm. Meh. No. So this is another boss that I don't really like much. There's no way to make it go any faster. You just go around, round, round, round. He uh, keeps spinning me forever. He's a time boss, basically. You, you had to kill him with the bomb before he you run out of air. Every time you hit him you get some air supply so you don't drown but yeah. 
but you for some reason stop hitting him for a bit you will not get any more air and without air you will drown and when you drown you lose a life and when you lose a life you will start from the last checkpoint and when you start from the last checkpoint you had to do something here all over again huh tail drown like Ben drown I got a name tails drown Ben now There's something that I really don't like about long boss battles, especially ones that cannot be speed up. Like this one. And the Sonic the Metal Sonic Pie. The last zone. Hey, we got it. Welcome to Water Parties. This is on YouTube. I already lost track. We're on Mirage Saloon, the desert level, desert airplane, sky chase level of the, of the game. It came, it came up very randomly. Like last time we were in, in Hydra City, underwater, and suddenly we're uh, up in the sky. Oh my gosh, we're up in the sky and Blitz is watching. I know the jokes is gonna be like, oh my god, like it's a whole high up. Haha! I'm pretty sure that's what he's gonna say. Anyways, the first section here is so automated. I don't really need to do much. So I'm just reading the chat in the meantime. Out of all the returning zones, this is probably my second favorite. The first one being Press Garden. And hopefully. I'm not spoiling anything for people watching except you. Yes, you. I'm looking at you. This level right here is divided in, in two sections. Technically three. The first one is here in the sky. The second one is a little bit on the ground. right? And the last one is again on the sky for a boss. If you pay attention at the, be at the beginning of this level, Knuckles was riding with us, but he got knocked down. If you play as Knuckles, um, you actually get to play the first act on the ground. So it's completely different from Sonic and Tails here. Which is a very nice touch. Here comes the train! By the way, is this secret ring in the game? You see it and you can just get to it like nothing. But we're not gonna be using super because I'm a super player that doesn't need super sonic to win. So it's I. Uh, we'll ignore that for now. So here's a pro tip to anyone that's making a game in 2D. Don't try to make a pseudo 3D fight with 2D sprites. With 2D sprites. It's very hard to tell when can you hit this boss. Because of the 3D angle and the 2D sprites. They don't me match together well. The only strategy I have here is just jump all the time and hope I hit. I got hit. How? I keep expecting Sonic to fall off the plane whenever he does his victory pose. I wonder if anyone here has played that game, Gear Sonic games, because what you did, there's a little surprise here. And 
That little bullet killed my plane. Red Salon at 2. Probably one of the favorite areas of many people. Not mine. I'm not much into deserts or cowboy, cowboy stuff for some reason. Although I, I think I think it looks very good. Planes are overrated anyway. I agree. What we need is rockets. Lots and lots of rockets. Ice. I looking at the background. Sorry if I suddenly became quiet. I just try to look at all the details because when you're going so fast in this game, you it's so easy to miss a lot of details on the background. You know. I guess that's one of the big uh, issues that this kind of gameplay can have, especially for artists and graphic creators. It's like, we spend so much time doing this, this 3D model or do, this 2D sprites or this background. But the player just passes by in less than a second and they never get to see it. Which is probably a big reason why many games decide to stop you while you play and make you look at them wait for different sections this game doesn't really do that but there's a lot of games that I'm trying to get a specific reference that just stop you from playing for a few seconds like for a set piece or something so you can appreciate all the work that the background people did or something it's a little odd but I was looking at some people playing the other day and um, since like the ability to play a game while talking at the same time is not something that many people have without losing a lot of their skill. I mean, I'm not saying I'm very good for starters, but um, I don't really have that much issue. It's a little distracting sometimes, but it's just like talking to yourself. You just gotta be crazy enough to do it. Crazy enough to talk to yourself, to talk to other people, and to ignore everyone else. I have no special comments about this boss fight. I didn't grow up with this character, so I don't really care. It's probably the easiest boss fight in the game. Well, other than the first Green Hill bosses, maybe, but at this point of the game, I can expect more. But everyone loves a little bit of magic. Hmm, magic. Also, I was reading around the internet that apparently this robot here was is supposed to be a female. But I don't know how you're supposed to tell that from the sprite. And again, how you're supposed to tell the uh, robot's gender, but... 